Thursday and Friday, July 28th and 29th. What a fun combination. The sun is in Leo and the moon is in Gemini. They're just two signs apart, which means one's in fire, one's in air, and we call that a sextile. A what? A sextile, which means they get along. A sextile is kind of like sexy. That's how I teach. Sexy. Because the fire Leo is going, oh, I'm having so much fun. And the Gemini is about six years old. Every Gemini has a kid in them. And they're totally uninhibited. And they say the things that everybody else wishes they could say. And they're so cute. And they're so dippy. And they're so superficial. And Leo is so much about how they look. And Gemini is so much about how they look that I just wore my best today. Now, the real truth about a Gemini Leo is they're here to entertain you. And why do Leos love to be on the theater or on camera? Because they're here to ignite your passion. I know, people forget. It looks very egocentered. I've had to ask myself this, like, look, I do these videos. How often have you watched me? Tell the truth. Are you a Deborah Sill? I was in New York City doing my book signing. Speaking of my book, oh my God. How do we forget this? The missing element. Google the missing element. I was in New York doing my book signing and people would come up to me. It was so fun. They said, I watch you on astrology answers and I wake up in the morning and I see you first thing in the morning and they made me feel so good. My little Gemini Leo, I've got it in my chart. The Gemini Leo was like, really? You watch me in the morning? Well, when else do you watch me? You watch me in the afternoon? Do you give it to your friends? Do you watch me on YouTube? I like to watch me. <laughs> then I got a little embarrassed. I was like, Deborah, is this your ego? And yes, it was. My ego is right here, right now. And that's the gift of Leo and Gemini. They say things out loud, but it's not just the ego because from the esoteric point of view, which is what I'm going to teach you when you take my classes, which by the way, the cart's going to open in August. From the esoteric point of view, Leo's whole function is to get you so excited about life and so enthusiastic that you want to get up in the morning and watch Deborah Sylvan. That's my function, this slice of the Gemini Leo. That's what a person with this chart would be like. They're entertaining you with the intention not to serve their ego, but it's a little bit, but more than that, to serve your ego to get up and have fun. Gemini Leos love to tell stories. So when I was in New York and the room got fuller and fuller, and before you knew it, they turned people away, my little ego was having a party. And I can be honest about it, and so can you. You have one. Now, is it big, your ego, or little? Because during the month of Leo, you have to ask yourself, how do I feel about myself? And if you don't feel good about your ego, come study astrology and I will help you fall in love with your soul. Because guess what? There's no divorce in heaven. You and you are stuck together for the rest of time. Whew. It's true. Astrology Answers brought Deborah Silverman to get you all excited first thing in the morning to say to you, go get my book, The Missing Element, and study astrology.